guys, what's up? Good morning. If you think I look like I'm about to fall asleep, it's because I am. I also have absolutely no makeup on my face right now because we ran out really early this morning. We're actually going on our honeymoon next week, but we know that some countries have policies where you can't come in if your passport is about to expire within six months or somewhere three months, and Cody's passport was about to expire in two months. And I actually know people who've been like turned away when they were trying to leave because of the passport. So I was like, uh, knowing how things go for us, I think we definitely need to get this renewed. Cody just ran inside of CVS because we ordered the passport photos we took to be printed there and then we're gonna head over to the office. I took his passport photos last night in case you guys were wondering really what is her job. Yeah, um, I run a passport photo stand in Chicago. It's pretty lucrative. My line of work is really underappreciated, you know? Hello! Hi. Do we have success? I washed out. <laughs> Are you saying that my photography isn't top notch? It was great. That, it didn't look like that on my screen. I know. They did that. I don't get paid enough for what I do. <laughs> So Cody just ran into the passport office that I'm hanging out in the car because there's not a really good place to actually park around here. After Cody is done in the passport office, he's actually going to bring me over to Ulta on Michigan Avenue because Ulta and Dermalogica invited me to come get Dermalogica's Flash Glow Face Fit, which is going on right now, which I'm really excited about. It is a 10 minute non-invasive treatment. It basically is a rapid exfoliation for a really glowy skin. Done in the store with a Dermalogica skin therapist, so you're getting professional products and professional tools so you're getting like a rapid exfoliation for clean glowing skin and it only costs ten dollars so it's super quick and super easy I'm really excited about it because you know we're going on our honeymoon and I want to have nice skin and be able to not wear makeup like on the beach and everything so I'd like my skin to look nice and because it's freezing in Chicago. My skin has been just such a mess in the last couple months since I moved back from California. P.S. The face fit only costs $10. So if you are also having dry skin winter problems or you just want to go get an exfoliation and have glowy skin, you should definitely go to an Ulta store if it's near you because they're offering them in all Ulta stores. Very cool with that. So good. <laughs> How does it feel? Ooh, so I can good. see the glow already. Isn't it so pretty? Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. So I'm back at home now. We dropped Cody off at school after we left Ulta. And I actually just picked up a bunch of packages from downstairs and opened them up. And it's stuff that I ordered to take on our honeymoon next week. So I thought I would show you guys what I bought. I kind of want your advice. I'm going to try some of the stuff on for you, I figured. And then you can help me decide because there's some things that I'm like, absolutely not and other things I'm trying to decide between. I don't have a lot of bikinis to actually like sunbathe in so that's why I wanted to buy a couple of new suits that were less like fashion suits and more like actually I can wear outside for longer periods. So this is gold and I thought it was navy blue but I actually do think it's black and this is by Diane von Furstenberg. These two are Vince Camuto and I actually bought these off of Amazon because they were on Nordstrom and I looked on Amazon and they were cheaper. Then I bought the classic Mauricia swim bottoms, the scallop bikini set and I actually did buy the top too but I bought the top in a medium which I thought was going to be perfect because I'm a 34b and this is so teeny on me I'm like falling out of this and I'm just like I don't have boobs like at all so if a medium doesn't fit me I don't know who they're sizing this for super disappointing so I'm gonna return the top but I do think I'm gonna keep the bottom. Right after we get back from our honeymoon, we're doing Christmas here with the three of our families. And then we're going to Florida for a week and a half because Cody's family has a house. We spent New Year's there last year with them and we're doing it again this year. So I'm actually spending the majority of December in warmer weather places. So I wanted to get a couple of new swimsuits and a couple new dresses for that reason. So this is the Vince Camuto bikini with my black sarong cover that I already had. You guys know that I don't wear a ton of colors, but I feel like it's like 
very honeymoon feeling. Here is the DVF swimsuit with my sarong cover up that I already own. I really do like this suit once it's on. I think it's super cute and I really like it with the cover up. So this is the first like maxi kind of dress set that I got and I bought this from Lulu's. It's a two piece set. This is the top and this is the skirt. And I like this because if you can see the fabric, this isn't gonna get super wrinkly. It's great if you just wanna like ball it up and throw it in a bag or in a suitcase. This next two piece set that I bought is from Revolve. And you can kind of tell from the fabric that this is a much more higher maintenance two piece. This definitely needs to be steamed. And this is a medium and I honestly probably could have gone with the small. So this is a little bit big. I don't know, I want your guys' opinions on if you think this is cute or not. I kind of feel like a milkmaid with these sleeves. Like they feel a little peasanty to me. So this next thing I bought is a one-piece romper from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I would only say get it in black because I feel like it's kind of see-through and it looks a lot cheaper in person. Also, as you guys can see, this also is like a much more high maintenance fabric and this looks like it needs to be hardcore steamed. Also, I feel like on me, these shorts look like a diaper a little bit. I don't know, not my favorite. I bought this dress from Revolve also. It's like a tank dress with really dramatic off the shoulders. I think this is really chill. I like this dress with lace-up sandals and a hat. I think this would be really nice for casual dinners. This is a striped maxi kind of dress and it's like a true wrap dress. So it's just held together with ties. If you guys can see this fabric up close, but it's something that even if it like has wrinkles in it, you wouldn't really notice because that's just the texture of the fabric. This dress is from the Outnet and I really like this because I felt like it kind of had like that white marble vibe. I really like the one shoulder vibe. I think it's really cute and I would pair it with a brown belt and brown lace up shoes and I think it'd be like dressy cute. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I bought for my honeymoon. Let me know down below in the comments what you liked, what you think I should keep, what you think I should return. So if you guys want to check out the Dermalogica face fit going on at Ulta, I'll put all the info down below in the description in case you guys want to go and get that 10 minute treatment like I did. I will be posting all of my outfits and where we're staying and all that fun stuff from our trip on my Instagram account. So if you want to see that, make sure to follow me over there. Bye guys.